Hello everybody and welcome back to the second video on my YouTube channel. Um, so for this video, I just wanted to show you guys the layout of my August budget. And if you guys want to see the setup of my entire 7x9 Erin Condren monthly planner that I'm using as a budget planner, then go ahead and click back to my previous video. So first we're going to start off with setting up my August budget. Here I have some stickers that I'm going to be using today. They're not available yet on my Etsy shop, but I'm hoping that soon enough um, I'll be able to get out hopefully September's budget kit that you guys can order online. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my income. And I actually get paid my monthly salary on the 15th. So that's why um, instead of planning on the first, I like to plan on the 15th of the month and then my budget will last until next month on the 15th so it's a little different than what's expected but it's how i get through and first off i'm just going to grab my pilot g2.38 and go ahead and start filling in the details so the date would have been the 15th income i'm gonna go ahead and put salary. And I also include other forms of income in here, perhaps if I already got paid for a certain commission by this point, um, or if I had a custom sticker order, then I'll go ahead and add it to that. So I've actually already done that. And I'm just going to write my estimated total for the month. Which is 1648 and 52 cents. And this is actually very exciting because next month my salary will almost double, I'm expecting. Um, so that's exciting since I got a promotion. And the next form of income that I'm going to write is variable. And this is whatever I make in my Etsy shop um, based on commissions or just custom orders that come in. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this blank because it's only the second day of the month and I'm not entirely sure how I want to estimate that yet. And next I'm gonna go ahead and put down my totals sticker and I'm gonna skip, actually no, I'm not gonna skip one line. I don't think I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. And then I'm going to get started on my fixed and variable expenses. Um, so first I have to start off with fixed expenses just because they're things that every month they're going to be the same. So it's easier to plan for. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my right side. I'm trying to line it up and it's not too bad. So the first thing that I have coming up would be my rent. Actually I'm just going to go ahead and write all of these down first and then we'll go through them. So now that I have listed out all of my fixed expenses, I'm gonna go ahead and write under the estimate column what I'm presuming these amounts will be. Even though they are fixed, there are a couple that I am not too sure about. So for example, gas. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna spend, but I do know how much I need to budget approximately for a whole month. So I'm gonna start off with rent and that is 588. Utilities is another one that I'm never entirely sure um, what the exact number is until the first of the month, but I like to budget out 60 and then usually it's between 50 to $60. Um, so it creates a little bit of a bumper every month for this checkings account. For my Chase credit card, I'm going to go ahead and pay off $100 of it. For my Wi Fi, that's 6502. And I actually have this with my roommate, um, so she sends me about $32, and then I just pay the whole total, but I include that in my income just because it's money coming into my bank account and then money coming out of my bank account. Another one that I'm not too entirely sure of, um, it's not really a fixed expense, but I do like to budget a certain amount every month would be gas, and right now I'm definitely not driving as much as I usually would be. So I'm going to go ahead and put 50 I think usually I would put at least 60 and then we have subscriptions, and that's going to be 30 30 
And this includes my Disney Plus, Spotify, and renter's insurance. So that's where I get that number from. And those are just automatic payments. So I didn't feel like listing all of them out. Phone for this month is actually going to get zero since I already paid it off previous to that. And then next month, it's more like a placeholder. So I don't forget it for next month. Extra debt, I'm not really sure how much I want to put away. This would um, pretty much depend on how much the variable income I get. And then lastly, sinking funds is going to get $415 and $23. And I did want to take a second to talk about sinking funds. Um, so sinking funds are a way of saving up money year round for costs that probably don't occur every month. So some sinking funds that I have are like my tuition, my emergency funds, my car insurance, saving up for Christmas presents, um, traveling, medical, renter's insurance, things like that. So every month I set aside a certain amount of money and that goes into those funds. Um, that way, when I do have to pay those bills, I have the money saved up from however many months that I've been saving up. And that way it doesn't come out to a huge surprise to me in the future. And that is going to conclude my fixed expenses. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the totals sticker. And I'm actually going to skip a line just because I feel like I will have a lot of extra space. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and start with my variable. And these are just things that I am not really sure, but I do like to budget out exactly how much I think I'll be spending that month. And then again, I'm just going to skip a line because it got a little too close there. And I'll go ahead and actually put a washi tape there too. And that's a little crooked. There we go. And then I think I'll use this floral washi and then snip the excess off with some scissors. Oh, cute. And I actually forgot to total up this comp, so I'm going to go ahead and do that very quickly. So 588 plus 60, 100, 6502 plus 50 for gas, subscriptions 33.3, and lastly sinking. And that's going to come out to... 1,305 cents. Okay, so now going on to my variable expenses. So these are things like groceries, my allowance, my dining out that every month I want to limit how much I spend. Um, and this is something that I really want to focus on with this budget planner in particular, um, just because sometimes I would kind of Let's say, for example, I have $20 left over in groceries and I would use it for something like dining out or just an expense that I wasn't budgeting. Um, but I really want to figure out a way to stick to my budget. And I know that previously I would use like a Google Sheets and just do electronic keeping of this. Um, but I know a lot of people like to do cash envelopes where you would take out a certain amount of cash for each category and then um you there's no way that you can go over just because you physically won't even have that cash so that's something that i am looking forward to starting soon and i'm actually going to start with a couple of these categories and let me make sure i have all of them here so we have groceries allowance dining out household beauty and unbudgeted so the ones that I'm going to take out cash for this month are my allowance. I'm just going to put a dollar sign next to it so I don't forget. Household and beauty. And the rest of these I'm going to keep on my card and I'm just going to see um, if there is a pattern. For example, if I'm better off sticking to cash or if I'm better off sticking to card and just being a real stickler about how much money goes in and out. So estimated for each category for groceries, I'm going to go ahead and put aside $120. For allowance, I'm also going to put aside $120. Dining out, I'm definitely not doing that as often. So I'm just going to put $60 and that will probably be too much even then. 
And then household, this is just things that um, I like to split with my roommate. So maybe dishwashing soap for new trash cans or laundry. I feel like a majority of this goes to laundry. And then we have beauty and beauty is really just anything that I need from like a CVS or a Walgreens. So just toiletries, maybe even household products or makeup, but I definitely don't think that I would spend more than this amount at a time for makeup. And then, so that's it for this unbudgeted. I'm just gonna leave a space there, but I'm hoping that no random charges are going to come up for this month. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my totals sticker. So I went ahead and put down my total sticker and I'm going to go ahead and add this up. So 120 plus 120, 60, 20, and 20 more dollars is 340. And then lastly, I set down a couple of stickers for this column over here, and this is just results. So at the end of the month, I can go ahead and look at my income from my salary, my variable, look at how much I estimated, so it'd essentially be those numbers, and then how much I actually spent, and to see if I was over or under. So I'm just going to go ahead and start filling this out. So salary, variable, my estimated... And that'll be it for now. Um, and then I, this box here is bothering me how empty it is. So I'll definitely have to figure out what else I can track on this monthly page. I know I definitely kind of shifted things down a little and I will have to take that into consideration next time. Um, and I love how I put down these floral details. And then my last sticker is actually going to be this glitter sticker. So that'll be it for my monthly budget. And while I'm at it, I'm actually going to set up my weekly check-in. So for my weekly check-in, this is just to make sure every week that what I'm spending is going to align with what I have budgeted for each of my categories. And for those, I just have stickers for each of the weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with week one. So I went ahead and copied the categories from my variable income onto the weekly check-in. And this is just because my fixed expenses, they're fixed or nearly fixed, like some of these things. Um, but my variable is definitely what I want to keep track of every week just to make sure that I am on track for having enough money for that month. And then week one, I just want to see what the dates are. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to my monthly. So I started on the 15th. So I'm going to say that this is from the 15th to the 21st yes and then I'm going to go ahead and lay down my next couple of weeks so I've laid down all my stickers now I'm just going to go ahead and write the dates for all of these so this one will be the week of the 22nd until the 28th 29th and I already know this week five is gonna have to go on to the next page um the 29th and then we'd already be in September and that would be the fourth and I just realized that my brother's birthday is coming up so I'll have to figure out how to budget that in twelfth until 14th, 15th, 14th, I'll do the 14th. Okay, so this last one will just be a couple of days. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was my monthly overview. So my monthly overview, I'm gonna go ahead and use these um, little bill trackers to track my bills just to make sure that, for example, if I'm spending something at Target that day, I can go ahead and quickly write Target, the amount that I spent, and then in my weekly check-ins, it'll be a lot easier for me to identify that the Target came out of allowance because then it would be in a purple color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that just for some purchases that I made yesterday. I think I got gas and went to Target as much as I'm talking about Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that very quickly. So I did not even realize how many stores I went to just this weekend. Um, so the first thing I did was use 
I don't know if I should keep the word manual. It's also more like fixed expense because I pumped gas. So that would be coming from my fixed expenses and not my variable. And that's also part of the reason for that is just because I go to Costco gas and you have to use visa there. So I, and I like to keep all of my fixed on my visa. So that's another reason why gas is in fixed and not variable. And I also went to Target and that would be coming from my allowance cash envelope. And that was $20. I also went to go get groceries and that would be another cash envelope. And that was $39.07. And then lastly would be dining. I went through a drive through and that was just six oh nine. So for now, these are all of my expenses that I am currently tracking and throughout the week and throughout the rest of the month, really, I'll be go ahead. I'll go ahead and track the rest of my expenses. So thank you guys for staying tuned and watching my August budget planning. I hope to see you guys in my next video and hopefully that will be a weekly check in. Thank you guys and be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below how your tracking is going for this month.